All right, a very good morning and welcome back to a new daily market outlook. Hope you had a fantastic weekend and in today's video, as always, breaking down the major dollar pairs. So starting off with euro dollar, euro dollar is still range bound. We're not moving anywhere at the moment, as we can clearly see on Friday. Uh, we did see that further downside movement. However, nothing really significant. 75% mark of this overall range is still acting as our area of resistance. Um, but yeah, we're still waiting for a breakout in either direction. As we can clearly see, we are building up some liquidity pretty much underneath this trend line. Uh, we already grabbed liquidity above the range high. So I am looking to see, can we see one more impulse in towards downside? Uh, potentially even deeper in towards this area of daily and four hour demand before, for example, reversing back in towards the upside in line with that overall four hour trend that we have over here, which is swing bullish from this low all the way in towards this high. Obviously, we're expecting a massive breakout from this range because the longer that price ranges for, the bigger the impulse in either direction will be. But yeah, for now, it's purely gambling saying, OK, we're going to move up or we're going to move down. Um, all we can really try and identify is um, kind of tail signs of where the market is heading next. And for myself, I recognize that there's a lot of liquidity being formed underneath this trend line. So I would prefer to see a sharp impulse in towards the downside in towards um, that area of demand over here before seeing that further rise in towards the highs, for example. Let's say we do rise in towards the highs, um, then obviously we will react to, for example, this area of supply. Um, then we'll see that pullback and then you could look for a long upon the pullback in towards this area of demand. So that's it for your dollar. Overall, on the 15 minute, I mean, you can analyze this 15 minute time frame, but again, uh, we're just ranging, so it's just all internal structure. Obviously, I have been trading, um, or you can trade the lower time frame. So, over here, for example, what you had was a very clear break in towards the downside. See that bearish momentum after grabbing liquidity upon the high. Then we know, okay, this is where supply lies within the market. So, what happens? We move back in towards that area of supply, we push down, so still not, no bearish uh, confirmation we push up higher and we start ranging until at a certain point in time what happens we see a break of structure in towards the downside we pull back in towards that range and then we sell off further in towards the downside so a trade example of this trade was shared in the community by some individuals um, so make sure to check that out um, because you can find a further explanation on that euro dollar short over there um, but yeah for myself i'm just waiting for the four hour to break out in either direction now moving on in towards the dollar index the dollar index is not really making us any wiser Again, clear, clear, clear range bound price action. So I'm just waiting for a breakout in our direction. Should we see a breakout in towards the upside, then obviously we'll be looking for this area of supply. Should we see a breakout in towards the downside, then we'll be looking at first of all, this area of consolidation over here at around 100 and 1, 600. So moving on in towards Aussie dollar, and Aussie dollar here on the four hour is also still ranging. Um, as we can clearly see, we had some nice price action on Aussie dollar, not gonna lie. Uh, we have that internal structure, which is bearish in towards the downside from this high in towards this low. Uh, obviously we're range bound, so much can happen, but we did see some bearish momentum kick in, breaking the lows over here. We pulled back pretty much in towards the supply zone, which broke those lows. And from there, we started moving down lower. Now on the 15 minute uh, last week, this was the trading opportunity and the supply zone that I shared. Um, so there were some opportunities to trade this. So after pulling back in towards that area of supply, obviously this was your area of supply um, stacked within this area of supply, moving away from that 75% mark, pushing down, pulling back. And then, yeah, you could have taken that short term um, short trade in towards downside from this area of supply after breaking the low over here for the rest. I mean, nothing too interesting again here on Aussie dollar. Still waiting, guys, still waiting. Um, just moving back in towards the four hour. I am still waiting for a big impulse um, in either direction, preferably in towards the downside towards here. But if we do move in towards the highs, we just need to break above these highs where a lot of liquidity lies and then we'll be moving in towards here very, very soon. So either a trade from this area of supply or a trade from this area of demand over here. That is what we're waiting for. Um, for the rest, we just have to stay out of this range because anything can pretty much happen at this point. Moving on in towards pound dollar. So I was in a short last week. Pound dollar got out for break even uh, on CPI news. So yeah, 
we grab liquidity obviously above this high um there's a lot of liquidity still being built up below these lows so i would prefer to see pound dollar push down grab the liquidity below here and at least see a tap in towards this area of demand from where you could potentially look for a trade long um, if we do keep on pushing up higher today then we can look for a short trade from this area of supply um, that's what I'm looking to trade for the week ahead. Um, if we do see a deeper push, then obviously we can also look for a trade from this area of demand over here. That's what I'm looking for. So we pretty much have free trading zones uh, and we just need to stay out of this current yeah, range box where we are currently situated in. Moving on in towards NZD USD. So NZD USD um, is one of the most rangy pairs of them all as well. Uh, obviously, uh, there's a lot of liquidity being built up below this low over here. So I'm looking to see if we can target that liquidity low very, very soon. But again, we also have liquidity positioned above this high. So if we do pop in towards here, we could see a swift reaction once again as well. Um, overall, trade here or inside of here. That is what I'm looking for uh, on entity USD. Moving down lower in towards the 15 minute time frame again was there really a lot of trading opportunities not really uh, i mean this is the top of the range and this is the low of the range on the 15 minute time frame again uh, you reacted to this area of 15 minute supply then with cpi news we pushed up even higher kind of like in towards the extreme of the overall 50 minute range again 75 percent mark uh, which is probably situated somewhere over here acting as your area of resistance now this morning breaking this low um, which broke these highs now again we pulled back pretty much in towards this area of consolidation and just continued in towards the downside. So as long as the lows are being broken, just follow the overall order flow down. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna be trading this again because we are consolidating and I'm just waiting uh, for us to break out. And I need to see a liquidity push below this low where I'm then gonna be looking for a trade or of course a liquidity push in towards the highs um, from where I will then be looking for a trade. So either here or here is where I'm gonna be trading. So then moving on into our last pair, which is gold. So gold has uh, pretty much broken above this descending trend line um, over here after grabbing liquidity slash demand underneath that liquidity low over here. So the, after that, we pushed in towards the highs after this kind of ascending yeah, channel breakout in towards the highs. So now what I'm looking to see is, okay, um, obviously, this is the sell before the buy over here. We tapped in towards that sell before the buy. Can we now sustain a further push in towards the highs? This was previously our supply zone, which broke, let's say, these lows. Um, but we've already tapped in towards that supply zone multiple times. So not a lot of supply is left inside of it. Therefore, I would prefer to see gold push up higher in towards this area of supply. And then, for example, a pullback, this becoming your clean uh, demand zone, your clean sell before the buy from where we can then look for those long positions. Not going to be shorting from here, but I would be looking to long from here if this becomes valid demand. Obviously, if we do trickle down lower, um, then keep your eyes out for these lower levels. But obviously, um, we still have fresh uh, demand zone positioned over here. And especially on the daily time frame, that will become more clear. Um, yeah, that's that. I mean, overall, on the daily time frame, we are bullish over here. So we are looking to look for those longs. Um, yeah, I mean, on the daily time frame, we've also seen a fractal daily structure break by breaking this high over here. So what I'm looking for at the moment is to see, okay, maybe we see this and then a further continuation. Um, if we break this low over here, then obviously I will be looking to trade uh, gold down lower in towards this demand zone over here. But for now, focusing on the four hour time frame uh, and focusing on the price action at hand, um, it is more likely that we will push in towards here. Then for example, pull back and then you have a high probability long um, to look for a long on gold. So that's that guys, a very rangy market. I'm not gonna make it any more pretty than that it is on these dollar pairs. Um, yeah, it's just ranging, so it's better to just wait for now and stay out. I am seeing some opportunities, so make sure to join Discord and I'll see you inside there. Thanks guys.